Hello teachers and welcome. Today I will be going over an elevation strategy for newcomers under the SS language and learning language practice. This strategy is called wordless books and I will go over it in detail later on. The goal of this presentation is to better understand how to assess English learners so that students can be successful without language being a barrier. And my name is Lizeth Ferrer, ELTOA. Assessment is a necessary element in effective instruction and in fact should be used to adjust instruction daily. English language learners, unlike their native English speaking peers, are learning both language and content every day. Providing consistent opportunities for students to voice instructional needs, lack of understanding, and mastery of new learning will provide teachers with information to effectively drive ongoing instruction. Each lesson should have multiple opportunities for this. Interaction time and transition times are excellent times to check for understanding. These can be informal check-ins such as thumbs up, thumbs down, a rating from one through five, or more formal format in, reading, in written form. Additionally, it's critical that educators are modifying summative assessments to ensure that content rather than language is being assessed. Summative assessments that are only measure that only measure large chunks of learning are unable to shape instruction on a daily basis. Providing consistent opportunities for students to voice instructional needs, lack of understanding, and mastery of new learning will provide teachers with information to effectively drive ongoing instruction. Often, formal summative assessments are essentially language tests for language learners, even if that was not the intent of the teacher. Considering students' different language proficiency in the creation and administering of classroom tests and quizzes, is critical for teachers to assess mastery of content and necessary content language. Both the format and text can be modified to meet the student's needs without compromising the fidelity of the content. Making accommodations such as reading the test aloud, the use of a dictionary or word bank, and extra time allow students to demonstrate content knowledge. Other authentic formats for summative assessments such as portfolios and projects with clear rubric expectations will allow students to demonstrate learning and contact knowledge without language as a barrier. When administering assessments, these are some criteria that will ensure success. Low anxiety environment for all learners, multiple modalities for students to demonstrate language and learning, non-graded formative assessment opportunities, flexible instruction that responds to the struggles of learners, reflective practice that doesn't blame the students for lacking of learning. One strategy that is under varied assessments is called wordless books. You can find this strategy in elevation under the assess language and learning language practice. This activity provides with the learning targets, directions, and examples of how to use it. There you can access a video of the activity being used, and also you can access templates and suggestions for using it online. Wordlets Books, it is under the Varied Assessments activity. It supports the reading and writing domains. It can be done in pairs, one-on-one, -on -one, or even in group, small groups. This strategy can be for grade levels, kinder to 12th grade. And in this activity, students will demonstrate learning using a book of images. They add written details to visuals. You can share the completed book as a form of summative assessment. Wordless books, how to. These are the directions for doing the activity. You select a previously read text, story, or content topic. Select five to 10 key focus vocabulary words and phrases. You can select an important image to the story or content topic. You have it pre-inserted in the wordless book template. You can also give them a thinking map to plan the writing or use sticky notes if needed. The focus or key vocabulary words or phrases needs to be included in the writing. 
and you give sentence frames, transition words, or sequen sequence words as needed. For early primary grades like first grade, this strategy can be used with your weekly wonder stories to have your students tell you about what they read with you in class. You can modify the lines like I did here in this example and include age appropriate ones. In addition, you can give students focus vocabulary for the week. In this case, the focus is on vowel consonant silent E words that essentially have a long vowel A. Another recommendation would be to use this activity as practice for the LPAC. You can give the directions orally like they would receive it in the summative assessment and have students complete the task. This is an example for third grade. You can use wordless books with a specific scene in the story that was essential and would like a summary or description. You can include a word bank with focused vocabulary words that need to be included in their writing. Also, you can give a series of pictures that are essential in the story for sequencing, including sentence frames to help with the writing can be helpful for English language learners. In addition, you can also use this strategy, but not necessarily just a single uh, for one person. You can um, give in a small group each student a scene or a picture and they can complete it independently or in a group and come together at the end to form um, a group a group book that they can share with their classmates in this next example the wordlets book can be used during math you can assess their learning in this case of shapes by including a picture of the focus lesson Including a vocabulary box in math is also essential to understanding their true knowledge of the content using academic vocabulary. This last example is of a science lesson for some teachers can again include a picture from the lesson and give students focused vocabulary to have them write about the focus concept as a form of assessment. This can be used independently or have a series of important pictures and give students a different one and as a group demonstrate their learning. Sharing the completed book can be used as a form of summative assessment. So I hope that you find the activity Wordless Books um, helpful, th that you are willing to try it next time as a form of assessment and that you go again to elevation and find it there where you will be able to not only find, like I mentioned before, the templates, but also the directions and any videos that will ensure that you are successful with this activity. Thank you and see you next time. Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.